Let us quickly learn to add and subtract the double digit numbers while moving around Bunny's house. Bunny's mother has hidden something special in these rooms for Bunny. To find out what it is, we have to solve some addition puzzles. On solving the last puzzle, we will find the hidden objects. Let's get started. First, we will go from room 24 to 34. We can do this one step at a time or in 10 steps like this. Is there a shorter way to go from 24 to 34? Yes. In this way, we can jump up and move from 24 to 34. How many steps is the jump from 24 to 34 equal to? Yes, this is equal to 10 steps. We can also write this as 24 plus 10 equals 34. Do you know an exciting thing about Bunny's house? If we jump up from any room, we can move 10 steps forward. That is, add 10. In the same way, if we take 2 jumps above, how many steps will we add? Twenty. Three jumps up. Thirty. In this way, one can easily add ten with every jump up from any room number. Can you tell me how much is 12 more than 33? Because now we know how to take a jump of 10. So why not use Bunny's house to find out how much is 12 more than 33? What do we have to do for this? Let's jump a long 10 from 33 then go two steps further. We reached 12 steps ahead of 33. 45. In this way, 45 is 12 more than 33. Children, can you solve this riddle by using the rooms of Bunny's house? How many jumps will he have to take this time? Oh yes, we will first take two long jumps and reach 20 steps ahead to reach 91. And then, absolutely right, three steps further ahead and 23 steps more than 71, we will reach 94. In this way, adding 23 to 71 would give us 94. Wow! We found what was hidden in the house. Bunny's mother had hidden toffee for Bunny in the rooms of the house. Children, you too can make a grid like Bunny's house and then try to find the answer to this puzzle. Children, in this lesson, we learned the easy way of adding two digit numbers. We will learn more about this in the next lesson. Let us learn the method of adding two digit numbers quickly. Come children, let me tell you a story. One day, a crow was thirsty and wandering around in search of water. Just then, he saw a pot of water far away. The crow was very happy and flew to the pitcher. But the poor crow became very sad. The water in the pitcher was very low. The crow's beak could not reach the water. The crow got an idea. 
he thought that if he puts stones in the pitcher the water in the pitcher will rise up and then he will be able to drink the water easily the crew set out in search of stones first he went to his friend bunny rabbit bunny gave him 21 stones then he went to gaggu hippo and gaggu gave him 15 stones can you tell me how many stones in total does the crow have now let's learn one more method of adding two digit numbers quickly we can write 21 by adding 1 and 20 like this and in the same way 15 can be written by adding 5 and 10 Now we will write two digit numbers together and one digit numbers together like this. Now we will add the two digit numbers. Add 10 to 20 and it becomes 30. And now we add 5 to 1. We have 6. Finally by adding 6 to 30 we get 36. Oh yes the crow has collected a total of 36 stones The crow put these 36 stones in the pitcher and he was happy to see the water level rising up He immediately inserted his beak into the pitcher and tried to drink the water but the water was still very low the crow left again in search of more stones this time he went to his friend appu elephant appu is very strong he gave all together 42 stones to the crow the crow was very happy and flew towards the pitcher he was wondering if he now had enough stones come on Let us find out how many stones does he now have in total. The crow had a total of 36 stones to which he will add 42 stones given by Appu. We can write 36 by adding 6 to 30. And in the same way we can write 42 by adding 2 to 40. We will now write the two digit numbers together and add them. Add 30 to 40 and we get 70. We will write the one digit numbers together and add them. Add 2 to 6 and we get 8. Lastly, we will add 8 to 70 and get 78. Yes, the crow has collected a total of 78 stones. The crow put the stones given by Appu into the pitcher. The water level came up. The crow was very happy and dipped his beak into the water and was able to drink the water. He drank water from the pitcher and happily flew away to his house. children in this lesson we learned the method of adding two digit numbers quickly we will learn more about this in the next lesson children we will play a fun game and let us try the method we learned in the previous lesson some puzzles are written in this house can you solve these puzzles by the method of quickly adding two digit numbers with the correct answers to the puzzle that part of the house will be filled with color well done children did your house also get colored on giving the correct answers come on children let us learn another interesting method of adding two digit numbers Let me tell you another story. Once there was a very good crop 
in the mango orchard of Babban. He called his three friends to take mangoes. Babban gave 25 mangoes each to his three friends. He then decided to give mangoes in a very unique way. He had filled mangoes in a big bag. He told his friends that he will take out mangoes from the bag using a box. Whatever is the number of mangoes that fill the box will be given to his friend. Bunny thought that if he takes mangoes in the end, there may not be any mangoes left for him. And so, he was the first to put his bag forward. Bubbin dipped the box in his big bag and took it out filled with mangoes. There were a total of 31 mangoes in the box. He put these mangoes in Bunny's bag. How many mangoes does Bunny have now? Come, let's add this together. Bunny had earlier got 25 mangoes. Now, he has got 31 more mangoes. How many mangoes does Bunny have now? To find out, we will add 31 to 25. Let's learn one more method of doing this. We can write 31 as 30 plus 1. Now, we will add 1 to 25. So now, how many? Yes, 26. This is very simple. To add 30 to 26, as we learned in the previous lesson, we can use a grid like this one we saw in Bunny's house. In this way, Bunny has a total of 56 mangoes. Bunny is very happy that he did a wise thing by being the first to take the mangoes. Now, Appu put his back forward. Babin once again put the box in his large bag and filled it with some mangoes. This time, a total of 44 mangoes were in Babin's box. He put these mangoes in Appu's bag. Let's see how many mangoes Appu has got. Appu first got 25 mangoes. Now, he has 44 more mangoes. How many mangoes does Appu have now? Let us add 44 and 25. We can write 44 as 40 plus 4. Is this right children? Now, we will add 4 to 25 and this will be 29. Lastly, how much is 29 plus 40? Absolutely right, 69. Appu got a total of 69 mangoes. In the end, it was Golu's turn. He put his bag forward. Babbin told Golu that all the mangoes left in the bag were his. There were 51 mangoes left in the bag. Babbin put all the remaining mangoes from his bag into Golu's bag. Children, can you tell me how many mangoes Golu has? Yes, Golu received a total of 76 mangoes. Golu very patiently waited and decided to be the last to take the mangoes. Children, you must remember that good things come to those who have patience. In this lesson, we learned another interesting method of adding two-digit numbers. In this lesson, we will learn the process of subtraction of two-digit numbers by writing them horizontally. One day, Raju and Bablu went to Chanda's flower shop. 
One garland of chanda had 25 yellow flowers and the other garland had 14 red flowers. Bablu asked Raju, Raju, can you tell me how many more flowers are there in Chanda's yellow flower garland than her red flower garland? Raju scratched his head and said, No, Bablu, I cannot tell. Then Bablu wrote the question on a paper in this manner. Raju could not understand anything. Then Bablu told him, Raju, find out how many more flowers are there in Chanda's garland of 25 flowers than in her garland of 14 red flowers. We have to subtract 14 from 25. Now I will write 25 and 14 as tens and ones in this way. If I subtract the four ones of 14 from the five ones of 25, how many ones are we left with? One ones. And now what should we do? Absolutely correct. If we subtract the one tens of 14 from the two tens of 25, then how many tens will we be left with? One tens. In this way, Chanda's yellow flower garland has 11 more flowers than her garland of red flowers. Did you understand, Raju? Raju still could not understand clearly. Can you explain that to me with another example? Raju said to Bablu, Let's go to Apu's sweet shop. I will give you another example there. When Raju and Bablu went to Appu's sweet shop, they saw that Appu had 36 jalebis. Then Sher Khan bought some jalebis from him and now he has 12 jalebis left. Bablu wrote a question like this on paper and asked Raju, Look, Appu had 36 jalebis earlier. Now he has 12 jalebis. We have to find out how many jalebis Sher Khan bought from Appu. Children, can you answer Bablu's question? Let us do this together. What we are going to do first? Yes, we will write 36 and 12 as 10 and 1 token like this. Now we will subtract the two ones of 12 from the six ones of 36. How many ones are we left with now? Yes, we have four ones left with us. Now finally, if we remove one tens of 12 from three tens of 36, then we will have two tens left. We have thus got our answer. Sher Khan had bought 24 jalebis from Appu. Bablu also explained the process of subtraction to Raju in exactly the same way. Raju became very happy. He said to Bablu, Bablu, I have understood. Now I will be able to solve the subtraction sums easily. If that's the case, then let us go to the fair. And this time, why don't you solve some subtraction puzzles for me? Bablu said to Raju. Raju and Bablu went to the fair. Let us see what mischiefs they do in the next chapter. Children, in this lesson, we learn the process of subtraction of two-digit numbers by writing them horizontally. Lesson, we will see some interesting examples of subtraction of two digit numbers by writing them horizontally. Today Raju and Bablu are walking in the fair. Raju is excited that he has now learned subtraction and he can now solve any question. Raju and Bablu went to a shop to burst balloons. There were a total of 50 balloons. 
Raju started bursting the balloons. When his turn got over, 11 balloons were left. Bablu asked Raju how many balloons he had burst. Bablu immediately wrote this question on a piece of paper. But Raju started thinking because he could not understand how he could possibly subtract 1 once of 11 from 0 once of 50. Children, do you think this is possible? Let us see how Bablu solved it. Bablu took a paper and told Raju, here we have to use the borrowing process. We will borrow 110 from 5 tens of 50 and thus make 10 ones. Because we borrowed 110, we have 4 tens left now. Children, can you solve this further? Yes, we will subtract 1 ones from 10 ones and we will get 9 ones. And finally, if we remove 1 tens from 4 tens, we will get 3 tens. Raju became excited after learning this new process. Oh wow! Raju burst 39 balloons. Bablu found the solution to this question just like us. A laddu eating competition was happening in the fair. Raju and Bablu also participated in the competition. Raju ate 32 laddus mm -hmm. and Bablu ate 41 mm -hmm. laddus. Now both are fighting over who ate more laddus and by how many. Children, can you answer this question? Wow, children, you have solved this correctly. Bablu ate 9 laddus more than Raju. Raju and Bablu kept wandering in the fair and solving the questions of subtraction. Children, you should also find such questions of subtraction around you and try to solve them. Children, in this lesson, we have seen some interesting examples of subtraction by writing two-digit numbers horizontally. In this lesson, we will look at some common mistakes that are made while subtraction of two-digit numbers. One day, while walking around, Bhola and Golu Panda reached the confusing village of mathematics. A lot of treasure is hidden in the village. But to get it, they will have to solve the confusing puzzles of this village. They saw this subtraction written on a tree. Children, is this subtraction correct? You guessed it right. This subtraction is incorrect. Will Bhola and Golu be able to solve this correctly? Let us see. Bhola observed that in this subtraction, three ones of 23 were being subtracted from four tens of 47. Another mistake has been made by subtracting the two tens of 23 from the seven ones of 47. Now Bhola erased this wrong answer and subtracted the three ones of 23 from the seven ones of 47. Then, after subtracting two tens from four tens, he wrote the answer as 24. Children, is Bhola's answer correct? Yes, Bhola's answer is absolutely correct. As soon as Bhola wrote the answer on the tree, lots of golden flowers began showering down the tree. Now Bhola and Golu saw a well. This puzzle was written on the well. Children, is this subtraction correct? Yes, there's a mistake in this subtraction. Can you identify the mistake here? Absolutely correct.
Here we cannot subtract the 6 ones of 36 from the 5 ones of 85. So, we have to borrow 110 from the 8 tens of 85. In this subtraction, by borrowing, 6 ones have been subtracted correctly from 15 ones. But after borrowing the 110, they forgot to reduce the 8 tens to 7 tens. So, children, what will be the correct answer to this subtraction? Yes, the correct answer of this subtraction will be 49. Golu erased the wrong answer and wrote this correct answer on the well. As soon as Golu wrote the correct answer, a whole lot of toffees flowed out of the well. Golu ate a lot of toffees. Now Golu and Bola were tired. They wanted to go home. But the exit gate was closed and there was a puzzle written on it. Can this puzzle be solved in an easy way? Let us see how Bhola and Golu find a solution to this problem. Bhola has a grid full of numbers. Children, have you seen this grid before? Yes, this grid is exactly like Bunny's 100 room house. In this puzzle, we have to find the number which when subtracted from 67 will give 36. Bhola first took one jump down from 67 on the grid and thus by subtracting 10, he reached 57. Now he made another jump down and then subtracting 10 again. So which number did he reach? 47. Absolutely correct. Now he finally took another jump and reached 37 on the grid. Children, now how will we reach 36 from 37? Yes, we have reached 36 by walking one step towards the left. In this way, using the grid, Bhola went 31 steps back from 67 and reached 36. Bhola wrote the number 31 in the blank space. As soon as the gate opened, there appeared a shining car in front of Golu and Bhola. They sat in the car and returned home happily. Children, in this lesson, we saw some common mistakes that were made while subtracting two-digit numbers. We learned the method of adding two and three-digit numbers but what if we have to add two and three digit numbers using the carryover method? Let's find the answer to this question in this lesson. One day, Babban was wandering in the forest and regretting how he lost all the three wishes he had got from the genie. Then he saw a hen there. But there was something special about this hen. She was sitting on a pile of golden eggs. There were a total of 23 golden eggs. Babban was very happy and he took the hen and all the golden eggs and went home happily. Babban fed the hen daily for a week. And in a week, the hen laid another 36 eggs. Babban is thinking, how many gold eggs he has now? Let us help him. To find the total number of gold eggs, we will add 36 to 23. Do you remember you learned in class 2 about how to write two-digit numbers using the method of tokens of tens and ones? We can write 23 and 36 using tokens like this. We will first add the ones tokens add six ones 
to three ones and we get how many ones? Nine ones. Now if we add two ten tokens and three ten tokens, how many do we get? Perfect! Five of ten tokens. Thus, Babban had a total of 59 gold eggs. Babban gave her more grain in the following week. And the hen gave him 128 gold eggs that week. Babban started dancing happily. He started thinking that he will now definitely become the richest man of the village. Let us see how many golden eggs in total Babban has. We will add 128 and 59. First, we will write 128 and 59 using tokens. Is this correct, children? We have a total of 17 tokens of 1s. Now, how do we write this? We can add 10 of 1s tokens and get 1 token of 10s. How many 1s tokens left? We have 7 1s tokens left. We will write this one tens token along with the rest of the tens tokens. We can show this by writing a 1 over 2. This process is called carry over. How many tens tokens do we have now? 8. Now what shall we do in the end? Yes, we would write 1 as the total number of tokens of 100. Oh wow! Babban now had a total of 187 gold eggs. Babban now started feeding his hen with fodder. And the hen kept giving him more golden eggs. After all, Babban became the richest man in the village. Children, in this lesson, we have learned the method of adding two and three digit numbers using the carryover method. In the next lesson, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Children, do you like the rainy season? Come, let us listen to a story of the rainy season in this lesson and see some interesting examples of addition of three digit numbers. One day, Tinku the grasshopper was walking around playing the violin. Suddenly, he saw a herd of ants and mice. The ants and mice were carrying pieces of some food items. There were 237 ants and 153 rats. Can you tell how many total animals were there in the herd? To find the total number of animals of the flock, we will add 153 to 237. What shall we do first? 237 and 153 will be written using tokens. We have a total of 10 ones tokens. What can we do now? Yes, we will use carry over. Add 10 ones tokens and to make 1 tokens of 10s, we will write this 10 token along with the rest of the 10 tokens. And using the carry over process, we will show it by writing a 1 in the 10s digit place. Now we do not have any ones token left. So how do we write it now? We will write a zero for this. If we add all the numbers written in the ten digit place, what will we get? Nine. Now at the end, if we add all hundred digit place numbers, we will get three. Thus there were a total of 390 animals in the herd. Tinku asks the ants why they were working so hard. But the ants gave him no answer and started picking up their food items and walking faster.
Tinku was shocked for a while, then slept comfortably in the shade of a tree. The next day, the grasshopper saw more ants and rats in the herd. Now there were 359 ants and 235 rats. Let us now see the total number of animals. Come, this time we should use this token without adding it. First, we will write 359 and 235 using the places of hundreds, tens and ones like this. Is this right? What shall we do now? We will add numbers written in place of ones. Add 9 and 5 and what do we get? 14. How do we write 14 using carryover? Alright, we will write 4 of the number 14 in the ones place and then carry over 1 to the tens place like this. Now, what is the total of the tens place numbers? 1, 5 and 3. 9. Now, we will add the hundreds place numbers 3 and 2 and get 5. Oh, wow! This time, there were 594 animals in the herd. This time, Tinku asked the rat why they were collecting food. The rats continued to walk and told Tinku that the rainy season would be here soon and they will find it very difficult to find food in that season. So the ants and the rats were gathering food for the rainy season. Tinku laughed at them and said that they were working so hard in vain. They should also dance like him and have fun. Saying this, Tinku went away playing his violin. The next morning, it started raining heavily. Tinku was very hungry and started wandering around in search of food. He then reached the house of the ants and mice. He apologized to the rat that he had learned the lesson of his carelessness. And he now knew that it is sensible to work hard. The rats gave him some food and everyone happily started enjoying the rainy season. Children, in this lesson we have seen some interesting examples of addition of three digit numbers. Till now, we have learned about the addition of two and three digit numbers using the carryover method. In this lesson, we will look at some common mistakes related to it. Raju and Bablu are playing a unique game. Raju has hidden some puzzles for Bablu in the village. After solving each puzzle correctly, Bablu will reach the location of the next puzzle. There, he will find another puzzle. Once all the puzzles are solved, Bablu will find Raju's hidden object. Here is Bablu's first puzzle. Golu distributed 445 laddus to his friends on the first day and 227 laddus the next day. Golu has written the sum of the total laddus distributed here. Solve it and get your next puzzle. Is this addition correct? Yes, you have rightly found out that this addition is incorrect. Can you tell what went wrong here? Here, while writing addition of 5 ones and 7 ones as 12 ones, we forgot to write the carryover of 1. Can you write the addition correctly? 
we will write addition of 5 ones and 7 ones as 12 ones using carryover like this. Now what is the sum of the carryover 1 10 added to 4 tens and 2 10? 7 tens. Now in the end, how many hundreds are there by adding 400 and 200? 600. Thus, the answer to Bablu's puzzle is 672 laddus. Bablu remembered that he saw the number 672 hanging at Appu Halwai's shop. He immediately ran to reach Appu's shop. Appu gave Bablu his second puzzle. This is Bablu's second puzzle. Babban got 159 toffees and Gaggu got only 34 toffees. The sum is written here to find the total number of toffees they have received. Is this addition correct? If not, write the correct sum and reach your last location. Bablu starts solving the puzzle. To get the total sum of chocolates, 159 and 34 is written like this. Is this addition correct? No? Can you correct the mistake and write the sum correctly? While writing 34 using the place value method, by mistake, 3 of 34 is written in place of hundreds instead of 10 and 4 is written in place of 10 instead of 1. Therefore, this addition is incorrect. Children, can you solve this addition by writing it correctly? Now, have we written this addition correctly? How many ones will we get by adding 9 ones and 4 ones? 13. Now, how do we write 13 1? Yes, for 13, you will write 3 in the 1's position and carry over 1 to the 10's place like this. Now, how much the total of carry over added as 1 10, 5 10's, and 3 10? 9. Because there is no number in the hundreds place in 34, we will write 1 in the hundredth place of 159 in the hundredth position in this way. Bablu also found the answer to the second puzzle, which is 193 toffees. Bablu remembered he had seen this number at Chanda's shop and thought that it may be his last location. With this thought, Bablu went to Chanda's shop. On reaching there, Bablu saw that Raju had hidden a cake to celebrate his birthday. Look how happy Bablu looks! Children, in this lesson, we have seen some common mistakes related to the addition of two and three digit numbers.